Hello, hello, Wicked Fairy here with another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. We seriously messed up on a game last time. <laughs> we got really bad scores. Um, well, I think they're pretty bad, but like barely ten, like barely over ten thousand copies, and like only like seventy something thousand in sales. Like, ouch. Anyways, we've since made a new game called Game Builder or Castle. <laughs> Let's try that again. Castle Builder Deluxe. Thanks, Sim City ish. So, yeah. Let's see how we did. Ooh, I see tens. I see tens. <gasps> okay, I'll take an eight. I'll take an eight. Um, another eight? Yes? Okay, seven. I'll take a seven. Um, <gasps> yay! Another eight. And, come on, come on, come on, come on. Eight! Yay! Our best score yet. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, and I think I'm researching... Oh yeah, I'm researching a game engine. Ooh, industry report. Recent studies suggest that the increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platformers... Platformers? <laughs> Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers while others cater to the more mature age groups. As more and more game developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. New research! Ooh, target audience! Don't forget creating custom game engines. This will improve your games a lot. Already in the works. Haha, ha, I'm ahead of you. <laughs> and custom game engine. Woohoo! Now you can create your own game engines to get started. Yes. Ooh. Tutorials and mono sound. Uh, let's see. We're going to do mono sound. And yeah. According to our market research, the recently published game Castle Builder Deluxe is a surprise hit with players. Yay! The developer Wicked Gaming Co. is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Awesome! I finally did really good! <laughs> Look! I'm- I'm- I'm in- I'm- I'm a- yeah, wow. <sighs> Following the massive success of the TES console, there are rumors that another Japanese company Yada yada yada. Okay. And it has mono sound. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do a bunch of research. So let's do game to tort. Come on. Oh, damn. I don't. <laughs> I don't have enough. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's develop a new game in the meantime. Um. Yeah. Let's do. Um. Village. Cons. Rock. Village construct, yeah, just village construct. So we'll do strategy, PC, 2D graphics, and 
Let's add a little more story quests. Let's see if that helps. Yeah, let's see. Take it down or raise it up? Hmm. I'll say raise it up. And dialogue's a little too. Castle Builder Lux is now off the market, sold 36 and almost a half thousand copies, and over 254,000 in sales. Nice. This is great. Doing horrible, but it, it's great. <laughs> and let's raise the sound a little. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I don't care about these other systems. Not yet, at least. Come on. More for me? Please? Thank you. Alright, we'll finish that. And new record! Yay! Wait, I thought we already got 17 over there already. Hmm. And level design's about to increase. And release the game. Wow, they came in fast. Well, let's see. Ooh, I see lots of tens. <gasps> ah. Okay, seems I toggled them the wrong direction. Oh, yay! Yeah, I toggled the wrong way. I should have been lowering stuff. Oh well. Let's see. Really? I'm one research point away. Okay. Okay. Uh, screw it. Um. Do do. If you miss a deadline for a contract, you will have to pay a penalty. Let's do a game report. Let's do a game report on a really bad one. <laughs> <laughs> Rhythm and RPG is a bad combination. <laughs> Graphics seems to be not very important with this type of game. Platform, genre, match is good. Okay. Game reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. Do -ba -da -da -do. Okay, now I have enough to do game tutorials. And 
sorry for the sirens. Uh, actually, that wasn't too bad compared to usual. Okay, you have game tutorials. Yay! And I think we don't have enough to research anything. So, and there go the neighbors again. Oh my god. Um, nah, you know what? Let's do another game. Let's do... The Return of the Bard. <laughs> okay, so RPG wasn't a good combination with it, so let's do... Adventure. PC as always. 2D graphics. Okay, don't care about your game system. Engine, yes. Gameplay, yes. Story, quests, yes. Actually, let's lower those a little. Actually, let's leave them raised. <laughs> Can't be worse than the first version of the game. <laughs> okay, dialogues, yes. Level design. Artificial intelligence. Eh, not bad. Game did not bad. Okay, graphics. Cut you down. Sound all the way up. World design. About there. Again with the sirens! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, enough about this freaking Master V. Like, go suck it. Come on, come on, come on! Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of points, but... Anything? Anything at all. Okay. Guess I ran out of ideas. <laughs> Got bonus for a new combo. So that's good. Just enough to push my level design over. Yay. Ooh, and I leveled up. Okay, let's release the game. Level editor. Ooh. Um, let's research target audience. Or no. Or no. Yeah. There we go. Reviews! Alright. Let's do this. Come on, you can do better. No. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, ha, 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 ha. come on. Okay, another flop. Rhythm just isn't my thing. But you know what? I'm gonna end it here, and I will see you next time. Hopefully. Yes, I know. I got more research. <laughs> Anyways, um, hopefully next time we'll get a huge, like, blockbuster. That's what I'm hoping. Something that'll sell, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars and we can get out of the stupid garage. Anyways, yeah. See you next time. Bye-bye!